When you're writing a paper or making a scholarly argument, you use a mix of sources you find, along with your own ideas. In this video, you will learn about integrating sources to build your paper. Scholarship is not a solitary activity. It's an ongoing conversation between scholars, classmates, or others interested in the topic. Imagine you arrive late to brunch with friends. They've already started talking. You don't jump into the conversation right away because you first need to adjust to the situation. To get comfortable, you listen. In research, listening is when you do exploratory reading and try to find articles or books related to the topic. Once you're comfortable, you're able to add points to the conversation. At brunch, during your chat, you might refer to something you heard from a friend or saw online. In scholarship, this is where you refer to different resources you found. You use them to help inform and strengthen your insights. Once brunch is over, the conversation doesn't end. It might continue via text message, or some of the group might go out for coffee and continue to chat. The same is true for scholarship. Once you've added your thoughts, others can use your insights and academic work to inform their viewpoints. To show your role in the scholarly conversation, you need to integrate existing resources. You use sources to build your argument and show how sources relate to one another. Integrating resources is a three-step process. First, you need to introduce the source. This is where you share who wrote or created the material. Introduction may include adding the authors and title of the work to your writing. Next, you provide the source or part of the source along with the citation. In this step, you're usually quoting, paraphrasing, or summarizing your selected source. Finally, you provide analysis for the source. This is where you explain how it relates to your argument or other sources you are including. There are many ways to use sources in your academic assignments. You can directly quote a source. This is where you share text word for word within quotation marks in your paper. You can paraphrase a source. This is when you share something a source says, but rewrite or explain the argument in your own words. Similar to paraphrasing, you can summarize. This is where you succinctly explain an argument or point a source makes in your own words. You can and should use multiple sources together. When you do this, you can compare and contrast to one another, explaining how they either support or argue against one another. Related to this, you can also discuss similarities and differences between sources. Finally, you can use sources to specifically demonstrate or illustrate points in your argument. Remember, no matter how you use a source, you need to provide a citation. Building your paper and your argument means you are mixing your work with the work of others. To make a strong academic argument, you need to find and use multiple sources and show how they support your own opinions, thoughts, experiences, and insights. A strong paper provides a good mix of resources to help you build your work. Integrating sources is a lot like cooking. You take existing ingredients to build something new. Others may use the ingredients differently, but the end result is still a tasty dish. Thanks for watching.